Elaine, we have a special look now at the most beautiful place in the nation, and it happens to be just a four-hour drive from here. Michigan's Sleeping Bear Dunes won the top honor today from Good Morning America. Big time. We were yelling <laughs> in the newsroom, that's for sure, and just a hop, skip, and a jump northwest of Traverse City. I was there with my family this summer, and the views simply steal your breath away. ABC's Josh Elliott has a closer look. Regal mountaintops, breathtaking blue waters. You sent us thousands of images of your most beautiful places in America. And it was hard work, but somehow we managed to narrow them down to 10 of your favorites. Asheville, North Carolina, Aspen, Colorado, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, Destin, Florida, Grand Teton, Wyoming, Lanakai Beach, Hawaii, Newport, Rhode Island, Point Reyes, California, Sedona, Arizona, and Sleeping Bear Dunes, Michigan. We showed you the sights, and then thousands more of you told us which was your favorite. Your most beautiful place of 2011 is the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. GMA viewer Jim Madol nominated this place, saying, quote, it is peaceful and serene, a place for gazing out into the world, night or day, and realizing that the universe is truly a magical, majestic mystery, and humans are just a very small part of it all. A remarkable landscape crafted by ancient glaciers, 64 miles of sand, 26 inland lakes, two islands, countless shipwrecks, and of course, those monumental sand dunes. But the beauty of this area doesn't stop with the sensational scenery. The small towns surrounding the park are full of the makings for a perfect vacation. Charming architecture, cozy inns, and especially lots of good food. And for a sweet treat, pop into Bob Sutherland's cherry-themed store, Cherry Republic. We are in the largest cherry-growing region in the world. Cherries is what we are. Bob prides himself on being something of a Willy Wonka, with over 170 products for sale. Plus these dried cherries, chocolate-covered dried cherries, cherry salsa, cherry jam, uh, cherry vinaigrettes, cherry nut mixes, cherry peanut butter, cherry ice creams, obviously cherry pie, cherry baked goods. And to work it all off, you'll want to stop by Crystal River Outfitters. Each day, countless visitors paddle down the beautiful waters of the Crystal River. But before you leave town, make sure you head one final time to see those great dunes, to really appreciate why you voted the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore this year's most beautiful place in America. One of the biggest fans of Sleeping Bear Dunes is the famous chef Mario Batali, who appears on Good Morning America. His wife went to the University of Michigan, and they fell in love with the place when they started going up there with friends. We started by renting one week, then two weeks, and then suddenly we just fell in love with the place. We spend the entire summer in paradise. It is remarkable in its beauty, in the people, in the farmland, in the way that they can serve their beautiful nature. It is a remarkable place, and it's kind of like Mayberry. It's just perfect little Americana. <laughs> Yeah, Mario was fantastic on Good Morning America this morning talking about this place. And joining us now on the phone is Dusty Schultz, the Sleeping Bear Dunes Park Superintendent. Hello, Dusty. What a morning for you. Wow. Did you think the park would win this national contest? Well, we had hoped they would. Uh, we are just so very excited and thrilled that Sleeping Bear Dunes area um, received this uh, most magnificent honor. And we're just proud for the state and for the National Park Service and all the uh, local community and vendors in the local area that have really contributed to the visitors' um, services that they provide to all of our 1.2 million visitors every year. With that being said, Dusty, are you and everybody else there ready for everybody <laughs> in America to start coming and visiting? Because I know I've had a couple emails this morning saying, yeah, this is great, but we don't want everybody at our national treasure. Yeah, I, I think there's plenty of room for all. With the 71,000 acres of parkland here, the 64 miles of shoreline, uh, the massive sand dunes, they're huge, along with the undeveloped beaches, uh, forested hills, quiet rivers, yeah, secluded inland lakes, there's room for everybody. You know, uh, Dusty, if people do come by, because I was just there, I have mentioned to our viewers a couple times, just about well, over July 4th week, and my family and I just adored it, but uh, people really should stop at the Visitor's Bureau shouldn't they to get maps and to figure out what involves what all is involved with this park because there's so much to do there is there's a, a wealth of opportunity here within the park itself and then the local area as well but yeah it's sleeping bear dunes is like a discovery site
side. It's not on the beaten path, and it's out of the way. But when you get here, you're just awed by the remarkable facilities that's here and, of course, the natural resources, as well as the cultural resources, the history that's located here in the park as well. So, yes, please do stop by the Visitor Center or the Visitors Bureau and get some more information about the park and what you'd like to do for the day. Well, the park has certainly made all of us proud here in Michigan, that's for sure. Destiny Schultz, thank you so much for joining us and uh, keep everything looking uh, mighty fine up there. We'll yeah. do our best. Thank uh -huh. you so much. You always do, and we look forward to visiting again. Thanks so much, Dusty.